If you like mermaids or more specifically reverse mermaids, I've got this silly reverse mermaid enamel pin in my shop, caseygolden.com. Check it out or don't. Let's get into the art. Just in time for the end of mermaid, I've got this bag of random animals listed as well as a toonie to flip heads or tails to decide is our animal going to be a normal mermaid or is it going to be a reverse mermaid? This should be silly, it should be fun. Let's get into it with our first animal. We've got, let's see here. All right. Oh my gosh, camera focus. We've got, oh my God, camera? You're embarrassing me. We've got a horse, absolutely. But next we have to decide, is the head of the horse going to be a mermaid or is the tail of the horse going to be a mermaid? Let's find out. It is the tail of the mermaid. Isn't that already a thing? A hippocampus, that's okay. We're gonna make a fun hippocampus. This already seems kind of fun. Oh, he's thick. Oh, he's thick though. Oh, wow, he, he do be thick. Okay, this is a mermaid. So what if I gave it really stupid short legs? Cause I sort of feel like maybe the legs are kind of useless. I feel like it needs a fatter head. Yes. Okay. He's not really fitting. Let's see if we can zoom out a little bit. So I went ahead and picked out a few color. I say a few as I bring in a bajillion Posca pens. I am a little worried that the horse is just going to be this big, brown, boring blob, but you know what? We'll see how it goes. All right, everything has been outlined. So now I'm just going to fill it in. Sometimes I pump it because it seems a little dry and it just gooshes out so wet and that just happened. <laughs> I'm glad it's wet now, but like, oh my God, it is, um, I'm going to be adding highlights and scales in different colors just to try to add texture to our mermaid tail because our horse is just, like I said, a brown blob and hopefully we can make the tail a little more fun to look at. Do I make the eyes pink? I feel like, I feel like I have to make the eyes pink. Okay, here is done. Moving on to our tail. I'm just gonna do a simple red to go along with the pink body. Body, tail, whatever. You know what, what do we say about like little, oh my God, uh, like little side fins. I guess I'm just gonna go for it. Okay, we need to start adding scales and details. That way it sort of brings everything together, adds more texture, I think. It definitely needs more texture on the tail bit because like I said, the brown is just so, it's just so there and brown. So far I really like our little horse, mermaid, hippocampus creature thing. Whatever it is, I like it. All right, I'm trying to blend in the eyes here a little bit. If it looks creepy, which it sort of does, you can always paint, oh gosh, over it. I feel like he needs freckles. Does he need freckles? I hope so, because I'm giving him freckles. Oh, that's cute. And our fin details. Something about that just makes it look so much like a fish. Is that it? Did we finish our horse normal mermaid? Not gonna lie, I was sort of hoping to draw a horse with a fish head, but you know what? Maybe our next animal will have a fish head. All right, our next mermaid animal going to be a bird and let's find out will that bird be wow a normal mermaid or reverse we've got the tail so a bird head and a tail of a fish paper you know now that I think about it are penguins just mermaid birds or <laughs> I guess not, they have feet. I guess they're aquatic birds. Fine, fine. I like doing some weird like eel bird or something. Wait, what if he's like fishing? Let's see, make it longer. Oh geez, how long? Oh boy. Okay, uh, again, I'm bad at centering these. Let's just move this up a little bit. Okay, I think to keep this one aquatic colors, I'm going to color our bird blue 
And the tail will be this sort of uh, turquoise color. But first, I'm going to jump into the beak. I almost thought for a second, where is feet? Um, it's a mermaid. Casey, there are no feet. Now that I think about it, I am a little worried that the blue and the turquoise are going to blend in too much and then you can't tell. I mean, you'll be able to tell the colors apart, but I really want the colors to be super different. So I'm wondering if they're going to be different enough. Okay, I have decided that an orange tail would definitely look a lot better than, whoa. Is that the color I meant to do? I guess so. Uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah. <laughs> An orange tail is definitely going to look really nice with the complimented orange and blue colors. I just feel like that, whoa, made the tail too big, that's okay. I feel like that the teal and the blue are just going to be too similar of colors and they're just not going to be different enough. I think the orange will be interesting and even if it looks like crap, at least I tried something. I can't get over how crazy bright these colors are. They're very intense, but like in a good way. Okay, so for colors on the little fin, I was thinking because we do have yellow for the beak, maybe we could do yellow for the little fins? I think maybe that'll be okay. We'll sort of bring it all together. Let's do it. Let's make the fish my classic shadowed sort of like void fish where it's just like a black detailless bean. I think that'll work. My texture for both fish and feathers is exactly the same. Um, that's a that's okay. I'm tempted to add a few feathers to his oh, I'm scared though. Should I just do it? Oh my god I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I don't hate it. But I don't love it. I'm okay with it. Yeah, all right. And there you go. I think that is that is it for our bird mermaid. Bird maid. All right, what's our next mermaid? And it better be reverse. We have dog. <laughs> Let's find out. Oh, it is. Oh my God. We finally have heads. A reverse mermaid. That means we get to draw a reversed mermaid dog. All right. This is the moment I've been waiting for. A fish headed dog. Do I give it a dog nose? Is that cheating? I don't even know. Oh my God, I feel like it needs like fish fins instead of paws. I mean, what else is there to add except that I, once again, did a bad job centering it. Oh my God, I love him. Okay, I feel like I always make dogs yellow. I don't know why, but I do. So I'm thinking green fish, yellow dog? I just realized I should have done like a half shark, half dog, but uh, maybe I can do that for the next animal. How does this dog even go about walking on land if it's got fins for the front arms or legs? I mean, can you flop around on your front fins, I wonder? Oh my god, yes. Eyelashes on top! Oh my god. This half dog, half what? Fish creature is sort of freaking me out, but you know what? This is exactly why I wanted to do this video because this is ridiculous and I want to put fish heads on more animals. I like the element of surprise. You never know if it's going to be a normal mermaid or a reverse mermaid. But obviously reverse mermaid is best mermaid. I can't tell if this little guy needs additional details like scales and stuff because he is- Oh, oh no. Alright, I'm adding scales. I don't know if it's going to look like scales or, or what, but we'll try. I do wonder if I can add highlight scales. Oh, I think I like that. I do kind of feel like our dog needs some spots just because it's, I don't know, it feels a little boring. He's dog, he's fish. I don't know how he walks around with those legs, but he's sort of adorable and freaky in a weird way. I love him.
All right, here we go. Our fourth animal is, we've got, ooh, yes, a cat, absolutely. And will that cat be a reverse mermaid? Ah, or normal? We've got, absolutely, yes, a cat with a fish head. Let's do it. Y'all know I love drawing cats. I want to give this fish, <gasps> Wait, like thin ears. Is that is that a thing I can do? I mean, I can do anything, but but can, can I do this? Oh my god, I love it. Oh gosh, I love it. I love it already. We should absolutely use that teal color I didn't use before, and I think I will do like a black cat with purple. Oh wait, hold on. I didn't rearrange the paper. Oh. Wait, I'm gonna use the dark color for our fish. Wait, do I wanna use the dark color for our fish? Or do I wanna use the light color for our fish? I'm in love with the fin ears. They're so cute. Wow, not me basically finishing the entire mercat and not speaking at all. I am so sorry, guys. I guess I just super got into the process. And for the final step, I do wanna add some scaly details. The contrast between the cat definitely is really nice with the fish. There's just so many, well, I say so many details with the fish. There's more details with the fish, especially in just color alone. Whereas the cat is just one solid flat color, which I think is a really cool look. I don't know if it's the simplicity and flatness of the cat or the colors or what, but this is definitely my favorite mer animal so far. All right, our fifth mer animal is going to be, we have, who in a rabbit? Or the head or tail of a mermaid is the tail, a little rabbit mermaid. I kind of feel like drawing just like, like a little guy. Again, I'm questioning, would an animal underwater have ears? I'm gonna say no, but here we are. I feel like making this like freak rabbit. <laughs> Of course. Um, where do I start? Okay, first let's give it cute little pawsies. Of course. Okay, so I guess I'm going for like, ew, <laughs> an eel or something. I don't know. I don't know what's with that face, but I'm kind of into it, so I'm going with it. Okay, here we go. A little purple rabbit. Okay, that's supposed to be like, it's buck teeth, but it just looks like a creepy smile right now. <laughs> and I'm just like, this bunny is cursed. I don't know if this orange is going to be too harsh. I think it might be okay. I say as I hesitate. Kind of reminds me of a carrot. Imagine like food mermaids. So you have like a carrot tail. That would actually be pretty cute. A rabbit with a carrot mermaid tail. Oh my God, that looks like blood. <gasps> oh my God. How long until I put blood splatters on one of these guys? Oh, I should do a shark one next. I'm gonna take a risk here and make its eyes red. We will see how that goes. I think the hardest thing for me when it comes to drawing is two parallel lines, especially ones that are weaving all over the place and trying to keep those looking not lumpy or like wiggly. It's pretty rough, especially when you have a cat in your lap who will randomly start shaking and that's okay. Just doing my best. Okay, instead of short scales, I think I'm gonna try to go for uh, long ones. Let's see how that looks. I'll do a few short ones here and there just to add variety and texture, but I think I wanna focus on just long ones. Oh no, it looks like a banana! Oh no, <laughs> that's okay. I like that there's a variety in our fish tails in our mermaids and I can't wait to do the shark one next. So, you know, tail shark or tail head, whichever, that's what we're doing next. And our last animal mermaid is going to be We've got a goat and our goat shark is going to have a shark tail, a bloody shark tail. 
with horns. Oh, this one's gonna be intense. This is going to be the evilest, most demonest goat. Have I ever drawn a goat before? Surely. I don't think that's what a goat looks like. I feel like on one hand, I should look up a reference because that's what you do. You look up references on what you're drawing. On the other hand, it's just, it's so stupid looking. I feel like I need to just embrace the dumb. Again, should I be looking up a reference for what a shark looks like? Absolutely. Am I going to do it? Absolutely not. I think this color is running out, so I'm a little worried, but we'll, we'll push through maybe. All right, so it's hard for you to see because it is quite a light color, but we do have a base coat of our color down and it's pretty spotty because the pen was running out, but it does add like a fuzzy texture. So I don't know, I, I guess there's that. Maybe I can hide that texture with some fur textures and some blood splatters and um, we'll, we'll push through it. All right, we're gonna need a bigger pen. Oh yeah. That is juicy. I feel like we're already at the point where I do want to start lining this guy, but I do want to do blood splatters before I do the outlines. So I'm going to do a few details here and there, like give this guy some furry texture so that the blood can go on top of the texture instead of under it. Now, as much as I just want to go in here and let the pen just explode, I, I don't really trust it. So we're gonna have to, uh, we're gonna have to draw our blood splatters on. It's just ketchup. This this goat was just enjoying some tomatoes out in the tomato field. You know how it is. How much blood is too much blood? Is that even is that even possible? I feel like yes. I feel like at some point you gotta stop putting blood on. Okay, we'll stop with the blood there for now, but if I feel like I need to add more, I definitely will. It is now time to line our little guy. Well, yeah, let's outline his eyes. I feel like you can barely see his eyes because of how light his fur color is. Let's get in there. Yeah, we can finally see our little goat guy. He's so cute. I'm definitely in that stage of the piece where I just get so into working on it that I completely stop talking and I just really focus on it and enjoy the process. So forgive me y'all. <laughs> I'm ignoring you again. All right, just gotta fill in these blocks of color and I think that's it for our evil goat. And that's, that's it. I love our evil, I mean, hungry goat guy. Check out my shop if you want some Casey Golden merch, caseygolden.com. And a huge thank you to my patrons for their monthly support. You guys are the best. If you want early access to these videos, secret sketches, live streams, and more, check out the link to my Patreon in the description. Thank you guys all so, so much. You are the best. And thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.